<clears throat> is it just me or do some of the new characters coming to blaze blue make the other characters look like they're really old and you know they need to be reanimated like let's be honest i'm just looking at the characters after watching that izanami trailer and looking at some nine gameplay i watched nine fight tager um for two hours last night at work because you know i got it like that but <laughs> Uh, by the way, let's go back to Izanami. Let's go, let's talk about Izanami for a second. Fly, unfly combos. Um, one of the guys commented on my video, Akira Shin. He asked, were those uh, fly, unfly combos? I wanted to reply, but YouTube was being a dick. Um, that's what it looked like, which is unique to Blaze Blue. I don't think there's another character that actually does that in Blaze Blue. There isn't. Um, and... She looks cool. Her Exceed Excel looks better than some others. Like, you know, Hazama, he has bloody fangs. It's like the enter to his Exceed Excel. Instead of, like, being the like the command grab that it is, it's actually the same animation, but it's a an attack with a knife, which is like, all right, I guess <laughs> this Mugen-ass um, distortion drive here. But anyway, yeah, Izanami looks fucking tight. Um, you know, I was hearing that Nine was complicated but very strong. I'm thinking Izanami is going to be somewhat similar to that that type of play style where she's complicated but really really strong. She looks really cool. Um, looks like she has some long combos unless they're just trying to show us that just to show us like what she does is like special moves and whatnot. Um, I really like how um, how her animations look because um, I've been playing a lot of Guilty Gear lately, and let me tell you, like, the animations on there are fine, but it's like, damn, why isn't this really th uh, 2D? Why is it fake 2D? You know what I mean? Um, anyway, um, <laughs> they announced another character too, but that's another story. I'm less interested in that. Um, yeah, Izanami looks like she's fucking tight, and back to the whole obsoleting thing, like, all these characters, like, nine... Uh, Naoto, even Hibiki in some circumstances, they got a lot of moves, and now Izanami, they got some moves and, like, animations that just make the other characters, they don't look necessarily old, like, some of the characters don't look old because, you know, they still look cool, but some of them just look, like, so stagnant, like, Jesus Christ, is this, you know, Calamity Trigger Tager? You know, he has one move, he has a new move, right, where he throws you up against the wall, and a wall bounces you, but it's like, damn, this move looks like, it looks like he doesn't want to do this move, uh, that's what it looks like, but, I mean, it's whatever, I just think, after watching Nine fight Tager for two hours, it's just like, fuck, all this shit looks so vibrant, and it looks like it took a lot of work to do with some of the animations with Nine and Izanami, after looking at it, like, Izanami's intro Look like it cost a lot of money, but when I look at you know something like Ragna, his exceed excel, uh, his new move, well his new move kind of looks fresh, but like everything else just seems a little like old. I think they need to reanimate stuff, but that's just me bitching. Izanami, I'm here to talk about Izanami being fucking awesome, and I can't wait to play. Um, we got a definite release date for um, uh, Guilty Gear in Japan, so it looks like that motherfucker is coming out in May. I think it said. Uh, let me look at that, actually. And while I'm trying to pull that up, yeah, um, this new character from Guilty Gear, apparently, is, um, it's like a robot. It's a robot. It's a woman inside a robot. Uh, imagine that. A robot that looks like a guy. And, um, let's see. That motherfucker comes out May 26th. May 26th for Japan. So you guys can start your importing then if you really care about the game that much. And, um... I didn't feel the need to actually um, talk about Mortal Kombat XL. I think that's that. It's a stupid venture. Um, the people who aren't really fans of the game are probably going to go ahead and grab it. I mean, let's face it. If you like Mortal Kombat, this is the argument I'll make with anybody. If you really like a game, you're going to fucking buy that game when it comes out. If you don't have enough money to like get it as soon as it comes out, you're going to get it in the you know the coming months. There's a lot of people saying, this is why I waited. You waited. Okay, you waited, but when you get online, you know it's going to be damn near dead, right? That's my thinking, anyway. Because um, how is online on Moron Combat right now, anyway? I don't. I wouldn't know. I don't want to play that game anymore. It's patched to hell. It's patched a lot, and 
the last time I played with Tremor and Alien was spamming me out, so I didn't feel like fucking with it. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're adding all the costumes in and, you know, all the DLC, which is fine, I guess. But, I mean, another person, I seen them on Google+, Plus. they were saying it's all about avoiding spoilers and waiting for the game to come out. I commented right on that shit. I told him every single spoiler. I said, spoiler alert, by the way. I said, hey, so um, Cassie Cage beats Shinnok. Shinnok gets his head torn off. Raiden becomes evil. Um, what's his name? Kung Jin is gay. And almost, I almost said every single thing. I forgot to tell him Melina died, but I told him the most important thing. Sub-Zero and Scorpion become pals. So... <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I don't think there's anything else I want to really report on that game. The game is a fucking buzzkill compared to all the other games right now. Um, Street Fighter Five, I guess they data mined some um, uh, some spare co some costumes in the game, which I switched my uh, my pre order from GameStop back to PSN. Um, I got my refund because I didn't like the first beta because it was fucked up. Like I I didn't want to play with Ryu. I didn't want to play against Ryu. And that's all we had was like, it was Ryu, Charlie, uh, Bison, and um, Chun-Li, and that's it. And I was like, fuck it, I don't want this game. So then I, I got my refund on PSN, and then I went and bought, like, the the game pre-ordered at GameStop, $5. Man, I'm about to take that shit back, because that Ryu, um, that Ryu pre-order bonus is stupid. It's like... You get whack ass Ryu with whack ass torn karate pants and a whack ass beard. Get that shit away from me. Give me Chun Li. Give me Chun Li with them thick thighs. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, Tekken Seven Fatal Retribution location test begin in February, February twelfth through I think fifteenth or seventeenth. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, but that's all I wanted to say about fighting games in general right now. I think I got everything out of my head. Uh, good games, guys. See you next time.